Hi, I'm Emily Wenzel with Body and Mind Enrichment. I'm a personal trainer, Pilates instructor, herbalist, and an organic gardener. We're here at the Pilates Loft today, and we're going to go over some exercises for the abdominals with the resistance band. The first exercise, we're going to begin standing. So the, the length of your band will depend upon, of course, your height, and you want it to be somewhere between five to six feet tall. This one's a little taller than me, and I'm just over five feet. So you want to step on the band evenly, of course, and bring the band in between the thumbs and the fingers. Bring the uh, shoulder blades together and back and activate the lower abdominals by finding your hip bones and traveling two inches in and two inches down. And draw those muscles towards the midline of the body. Inhale as you prepare and exhale, you're gonna bring the fingers forward by keeping the shoulder blades together and slightly back. And then exhale and lower. Take a breath in, and then exhale as you lift. Inhale, hold, and then exhale and lower. Then you're gonna bring the arms slightly out like a V. So exhale, widen, keep the shoulder blades back and nice and long in the neck, shoulders down away from the ears. And then lower it back down. Take a breath in, exhale, bring the arms out to the side. So keep the shoulder blades back and down, and the neck nice and long. And then you can go into a circle. So you're gonna bring it forward as you exhale. Inhale and open, really reach the arms around, and then lower it back down. And then do the opposite direction. So you're gonna exhale as you widen. Inhale, bring it in front, and then exhale and lower. The key is to activate the core muscles so you don't feel everything in the shoulders. The next exercise, we're gonna be seated. You wanna have a seat on your sits bones, and then grab your band. You're gonna be seated back, but a slight hinge and lift out of that lower back. Grab the band, the closer in, the tighter the resistance. The further out, the less resistance. So, of course, you decide. You're gonna hinge back, and then grab hold of the bands, keep the shoulder blades pulled back, and as you exhale, you're gonna pull slightly back, activating from the core the lower abdominal muscles. Keep the shoulder blades back and the neck nice and long. So inhale, bring up slightly, and then exhale, pull away. So keep the shoulder blades pulled back and keep that lift out of the lower back. And then inhale, bring it forward. To your, if you're ready for more of a challenge, bring the knees up. And then as you exhale, pull the arms back, keeping the shoulder blades slightly pulled back and down. And then hold and resist from your core, the lower abdominals. Inhale, bring it forward. And then exhale, pull back. Keep that lift out of that lower back. Inhale and hold. And then exhale and relax. The next exercise, we're going to roll down all the way onto your mat. Go ahead and place the band in just one leg. Grab a hold with one hand. And then roll all the way down. Straighten the leg up, and you want to keep a nice hold, the elbows on the ground, into like a bicep hold. <clears throat> Extend the opposite leg out, or if you feel any sensitivity in the back, bend that knee up. And if you need a little support for the head, just, just uh, ball up maybe like a little towel or even just a little pillow to give you some support on the head. So as you inhale, you're going to bring this leg across the body, but you want to keep the band hand steady and then circle it out and around, but you want to keep the pelvis in a neutral position. So try not to rock and roll around too much. So you're going to inhale across and then exhale around. So you're going to feel the resistance going to be different depending upon where you're holding the band. Um, the tighter the band is, the closer your hand is going to be up towards the feet. And then reverse that circle, of course. You're going to inhale as you open it up and exhale around. So again, keep that band hand steady and even straight and strong through the wrist. I'm Emily Wenzel with BodyandMindEnrichment.org. Those are some exercises that you can do to train your abdominals with the resistance band.